So, I'd like to start today's video with a story. This story is about a man named Andrew Dixon White, who, in 1896, was the president of Cornell University. Now, in 1896, Andrew Dixon White published a book called A History of the Warfare of Science with Theology in Christendom. Now, the title sounds like a bunch of gibberish if you don't understand the context, and that's no shot to White. But, under White's influence as the president of Cornell University, the word warfare, as used in the title, became a metaphor for the relationship between science and religion. The best way to understand the difference between religion and science is to understand where these bodies of thought came from and what constitutes their methods. The basis of all science and scientific theory is the scientific method. In layman's terms, or the simplest way to put it, the scientific method is basically a way to reason with the world around us, to try to make facts or theories about what goes on in our natural world. Religion, on the other hand, relies more on spiritual sense, and spiritual sense is a bit abstract and can't often be put into words, except when doctrines are made like the Bible or the Quran. These doctrines can be looked at like a personal anecdote by people who have experienced some sort of spiritual awakening or have felt something connected deeper than themselves, and others may not be able to feel it. And herein lies the differences between science and religion. Science bases itself upon logic, and religion bases itself upon spiritual doctrines that come from internal sense, maybe uh, a premonition about the world, rather than something solid, as we would assume, that we can get from logical deductive reasoning, the scientific method. Now, based upon everything that I've just said, it seems that science and religion would occupy two different ends of the spectrum. However, with every polarity comes another side, and religion and science can share a similar ground if we take a different look at it. If we remove the idea that religions are separate doctrines and they all have their own purpose and start to really deduce religion down to what its basic purpose is, we can see more similarities to science than we may have originally seen looking at a religion like Christianity or Judaism on its own. And this is where religious naturalism comes in. What's that, you ask? Religious naturalism combines a naturalist worldview with perceptions and values that are commonly associated with religion. I like that. But in all seriousness, religious naturalism is a great way to take all the traditionalist mentalities off of religion and realize that what spiritualism is trying to do is just trying to bring you closer to feelings of gratitude and joy and natural human emotions and innate feelings that make us want to be curious or search the world or figure things out about ourselves. Now, if we take a step away from religion, we can look at science, and although science does have a bit more of a detail-oriented process to it, like what makes up our cells, rather than as a spiritual person would ask, why am I here? The bottom line is this. Science and religion are both attempting to answer the questions about our lives that truly matter to us. So, being a religious naturalist is basically a way of meeting science in the middle, or in terms of being a scientist, if you were to look at religion less as a traditionalist mentality and more of a way to answer the questions that can't be answered by science, this is where the two meet in the middle. Science and religion both seek to answer questions that are driven from us internally. Now, science does take an approach that is quite detail-oriented and focuses on things, the, the smallest structures of the world, whereas religion focuses on things that, as I've said, are abstract and can't always be put into words or processes that we can lay out logically. However, religion and science do share this similar purpose of trying to answer the questions that drive us insane or make us happy or please us or, for that matter, make us want to stay alive, make us want to keep going, and make us want to make videos like this. So there you have it. Science and religion, in their essence, are both just bodies of thought that are trying to help us answer the questions about life. Thanks for listening again today. I'm Dave, signing off.